famous meteorites throughout history. A meteorite is a solid piece of debris from an object, such as a comet, asteroid, or meteoroid, that originates in outer space and survives its passage through the atmosphere to reach the surface of a planet or moon. Some of the meteorites landed on Earth created history. On this video there are 14 famous meteorites on the list, and let's start from. Number 1. Chelyabinsk Meteorite. The Chelyabinsk Meteorite is the fragmented remains of the large Chelyabinsk Meteor that fell February 15, 2013. The descent of the meteor visible as a giant fireball shattered windows in 7,200 buildings and injured over 1,500 people. The largest fragments of this meteorite were found at the bottom of the Chebarkal Lake, in Chelyabinsk, Russia. Number 2. Hoba Meteorite. This meteorite lies on the farm Hoba West in Namibia and has never been moved elsewhere because of its exceptionally greater mass. With a mass of about 60 tons, it is the largest meteorite known to mankind. It is tabloid in shape and composed of metal. It is believed to have landed on Earth about 80,000 years ago. In 1955, it was declared as a national monument and has since then been attracting visitors from different parts of the world. Number 3. ALH 84001. It was found in the Allen Hills, Antarctica in December 1984. Meteorite hunters of the United States working on ASMNET project discovered this meteorite. When discovered, its mass was 1.93 kilograms and its rock was reportedly one of the oldest forms. This meteorite was supposed to have come from Mars. Later it was believed to consist of some traces of the life on Mars and this made ALH 84001 more famous than ever. Number 4. Orgai. This meteorite fell in France in 1864 and is a relatively older meteorite. The fall of this meteorite consisted of small stones that covered a massive area. This is one of those eight meteorites that belong to the CL Chondrite group. A striking feature of this type of meteorite is that its composition is similar to that of the Sun. This meteorite is one of the most researched ones. For purposes of deeper study of the composition of this meteorite, it was split into pieces. Currently, it exists in the form of pieces kept in different museums in Europe and the United States. Number 5. Gibeon. The fall of the Gibeon meteorite is the most extensive meteorite shower known on Earth which covers an elliptical area of about 275 by 100 kilometers most fragments fell just southeast of Gibeon. To date, hundreds of specimens with a weight of more than 25 tons have been recorded. Number 6. Ensisheim, France, 1492. On Wednesday, November 7, the night before St. Martin's Day, in the year of our Lord 1492, a singular miracle happened, for between the hours of 11 and 12 a loud clay of thunder took place, with a long continued noise, which was heard at great distance, and a stone fell from the heavens in the ban of Ensisheim which weighed 260 pounds. This meteorite fall was widely written about in stories. Number 7. Allende. The Allende meteorite, Chihuahua District, Mexico, fell on February 8, 1969 after a bright bolide was seen in the very early morning hours. It turned out to belong to the relatively rare class of meteorites, the carbonaceous chondrites, and was found in a strewn field estimated to cover over 250 square kilometers. The ellipse was 50 kilometers long and 12 kilometers wide. More than two metric tons of the meteorite have been collected in hundreds of fragments, the largest of which had a mass of about 110 kilograms but unfortunately broke up on impact. Number 8. Canyon Diablo. The Canyon Diablo meteorite comprises many fragments of the asteroid that impacted at Barringer Crater, Meteor Crater, Arizona, USA. Meteorites have been found around the crater rim, and are named for nearby Canyon Diablo, which lies about 3 to 4 miles west of the crater. The asteroid fell about 50,000 years ago. The meteorites have been known and collected since the mid-19th century and were known and used by prehistoric Native Americans. The Barringer Crater, from the late 19th to the mid-20th century, was the center of a long dispute over the origin of craters that showed little evidence of volcanism. That debate was settled in the 1950s thanks to Eugene Shoemaker's study of the crater. Number 9. Sikot Allen. Sikot Allen is an iron meteorite that fell in 1947 on the Sikot Allen Mountains in eastern Siberia. Though large iron meteorite falls had been witnessed previously and fragments recovered, never before in recorded history had a fall of this magnitude been observed. An estimated 70 tons of material survived the fiery passage through the atmosphere and reached the Earth. At around 10.30 a.m. on February 12, 1947, eyewitnesses in the Sikot Allen Mountains, Primary, Soviet Union, 
observed a large bolide brighter than the sun that came out of the north and descended at an angle of about 41 degrees. The bright flash and the deafening sound of the fall were observed for 300 kilometers, 190 miles, around the point of impact not far from Luchegorsk and approximately 440 kilometers, 270 miles northeast of Vladivostok. A smoke trail, estimated at 32 kilometers, 20 miles long, remained in the sky for several hours. As the meteorite, traveling at a speed of about 14 km per second, 8.7 miles per second, entered the atmosphere, it began to break apart, and the fragments fell together. At an altitude of about 5.6 km, 3.5 miles, the largest mass apparently broke up in a violent explosion. Number 10. Fukang, China. The Fukang meteorite is a meteorite that was found in the mountains near Fukang, China in 2000. It is a palisite, a type of stony iron meteorite with striking olivine crystals. In 2000 near Fukang, China, a Chinese dealer got a 1,003 kg mass from Xinjiang province, China. He removed from the main mass about 20 kg and in February 2005 the meteorite was taken to the Tucson German Mineral Show. There it was seen by Dante Loretta of University of Arizona. Afterwards the mass was investigated by D.S. Loretta, D. Hill, M. Kilgore, D. Della Justina and Y. Gorva at Southwest Meteorite Center, Lunar and Planetary Laboratory, University of Arizona in Tucson. Stony Iron. Main Group. Palisite MGP. Number 11. Muonanaluster, Sweden. The Muonanaluster is a meteorite classified as fine octahedrite, type EVA, of. The first fragment of the Muonanaluster was found in 1906 in a 25 by 15 km, 16 times 9.3 miles, area approximately 140 km, 87 miles, north of the Arctic Circle, in the Pajala district, Norbiton, Sweden. Around 40 pieces are known today, some being quite large. It was first described in 1910 as Muonanaluster, therefore named after the municipality of Muonio, by Professor A. G. Hogbom and studied in 1948 by Professor Nils Gore and David Malmquist. The Munanaluster, probably the oldest meteorite known to man, marks the first occurrence of stashovite in an iron meteorite. Studies have shown it to be the oldest discovered meteorite impacting the Earth during the Quaternary period, about one million years ago. It is quite clearly part of the iron core or mantle of a planetoid, which shattered into many pieces upon its fall on our planet. Since landing here this meteorite has experienced four ice ages. It was unearthed from a glacial moraine in the northern tundra. A strongly weathered surface covered with cemented faceted pebbles leaves no doubt that its sojourn on Earth has been long and dramatic. New analysis of this strongly shock metamorphosed iron meteorite has shown a content of 8.4% nickel and trace amounts of rare elements 0.33% ppm gallium, 0.133% ppm germanium and 1.6 ppm iridium. It also contains the common minerals chromite, daubrielite, schreibersite, acaganite and inclusions of troilite. For the first time, analysis has proved the presence of a form of quartz altered by extremely high pressure, stashovite, probably a pseudomorphosis after tridomite. From the article, first discovery of stashovite in an iron meteorite. Number 12. Renum, K.S. Thousands of years ago, a meteor scattered several tons of meteorite fragments in the vicinity of Brenham, Kansas. The iron-bearing fragments were found by Native Americans and pieces have been found as far away as Hopewell Indian Mounds in Ohio. The iron in the meteorite was used to make ornaments and implements. Fragments were found by settlers in the 1880s and it was several years before it was discovered that they were from a meteor. But the Brenham meteorite still didn't become famous until the 1920s when H.H. H. Harvey Harlow, Nininger from McPherson College found a Haviland crater associated with this meteorite. More fragments of the Brenham meteorite are found every year and more than three tons of fragments have been found to date. Although some large fragments have been found, most pieces are the size of a grapefruit or smaller. Type. Stony iron. Class. Anomalous palisite, palisite and one. Composition. Number 13. Willamette meteorite. This is an iron nickel meteorite that was discovered in the United States near Oregon. It is the largest of the meteorites found in the United States as also the sixth largest in the world. Probably the meteorite had landed in the region, which is now known as Canada. This meteorite weighing about 15.5 tons is one of the very large meteorites of the world. Number 14. Simchen, Russia. It was found in the dry bed of River Hekindu, a left tributary of River Jasiknaja in the Magadan district, Russia, near the settlement of Simchen. 
The main mass of 272.3 kg was found in June 1967 by the geologist F. A. Mednikov during a survey. The mass was a triangle-shaped thumbprinted meteorite lying among the stones of the brook bed. A second specimen of 51 kg was found in October 1967 at a distance of 20 meters from the first one by I. H. Markov with a mine detector 1967. The main mass was turned into the Academy of Sciences of the USSR. During a new expedition in 2004, Dmitry Kachalan recovered about 50 kg of new material. Remarkably, many of the new specimens, about 20%, were found to contain olivine crystals and so revealed the silicated nature of the meteorite. The palisitic structure was not discovered previously during studies on small metal-only sections of the original mass. Stony Iron, Palisite. Thank you for watching, please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this.